All right, we'll play some new leaf for a, a little bit. I wanna make sure my villagers don't get all passive aggressive in terms of how long it's been. It's only been a few days. I'm sure they're fine. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. That is not the time, but sure. I get to finally talk to Isabel and set up the next museum thing. May I will? A beauty salon- oh, that's what it is. Has opened up on Main Street today. You can change your hairstyle there and get a makeover. Alright. It's on the second story above the tailor shop. Oh, how exciting. Be sure to go see it. Alright. Well, that's the new building that's opened in town, then. It's curious what they were doing. Me and my, like, trucker look. From my mother, huh? There was a fireworks display in town tonight. It was so beautiful. It made me wonder if you could see it from your town. Is it too far away? Fireworks paper? Oh, to write letters, I mean. Can't really do that. I have my epic music in here now. I need to start selling stuff. Okay. I think I might just go straight there. Oh, Will, it's been a while, hasn't it? I swear it's been about a week. Man, it might be even longer. No, it hasn't. Is it my imagination or are you looking a lot older now? Nah, it couldn't be. <laughs> it might be the beard. Which I guess I'm gonna take off today. Jeez. I've never seen anyone. You know what? No, that's a lie. I know someone that's I know I know someone that speaks in that exact fashion. Just like low key. Just why why do you have to say that, man? <laughs> they speak like an Animal Crossing villager. A, a desk, a table, um, a clock. I don't have money on me right now. I'll come back. I probably want both of those things. Do one thing at a time. I mean, I think after the museum upgrade, it might be... It might be time to, like, call it on New Leaf. I think after that, the upgrades are just the store to, like, the, its final form, which is it's just selling more stuff. And if it didn't take so much time, I'd probably be more interested in it. I don't think I'll get a chance to decorate. Like, it just doesn't give you the axe or anything. I guess that's this game's light game. Is, like, what you could do in New Horizons right away. It's just, I've been asked about New Horizons quite a bit lately. I'm like, well, I want to finish New Leaf. Or, by finish, I mean, like, you know, do what I can with it before moving on. Flowers just come to die on this island, or town. I keep calling it an island. Mm -hmm. 
It's because you have to water them one at a time. It's not done in... in a radius like the watering can in New Horizons. I know I keep drawing comparisons, but I can't help it. Alright, now I have funds to go purchase new clothing and hairstyle and all that stuff. The game still very, very enjoyable. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let me... I'll go to the comedy first. Comedy, it's not a comedy club, it's just a club. It's just a uh, moonlighting comedian. In the daylight. Daylighting comedian. This is well before Dave is, is around, so don't worry. We can just walk in. Brought you a snack. A cherry? Don't mind if I do. Ugh, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the fare now, shouldn't I? Hmm. And how about I tell you a really good joke today? Alright, I have to get ready first, so you just wait there. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrank is in the house. My sunniness joke is just the thing to cure you. Something, something. Here's a little fun fact for you. There's nothing more important to a comedian than a big smile. Even if you have an ugly mug, you need to have a big smile. There's nothing that charms people more than smiles on faces of any shape or level of attractiveness. That's why I'm so good at capturing the hearts of my audience. Want to see how a pro does it? Here's a taste, so watch closely. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. Huh? It's not working. <laughs> I feel like some of these are like Japanese puns and it's kind of lost in translation. So yeah, what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my sunniness joke. Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your sunniness ability and develop your comedic skills. Hey Steve, how's it going? Oh, it's alright, man. Just kicking back. How about you? And what's this? What does it look like? That's sunniness. Okay. I'm gonna go change my clothing now. This beard is... It's getting old. But now the new place is open. Oh, look at it. it looks at... Why is Lucky still around? Dude, you moved out. You haven't had a house here for so long. Like, why? You're still lingering. Okay. What's here today? Basketball jersey. I already got that shirt. Sure, why not? I suppose I can live out the fantasy of being in, into sports in this game. Just did a few days of Mindsight for the first time. Oh, no shit. How was it? Fucked? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Hard work. 
I've heard from a couple people that have done that, but is coffee just stupidly expensive? Excuse me, is that a Korok mask? Yeah, ha ha! The coffee was free. Okay, lucky. I remember the last person I talked to that went to do a gig like that. They were saying it was like six bucks for a regular. Oh, man. Yeah, ha ha! You haven't seen that in the new one? Oh, I, I'm sure it exists. Okay, we can go up here now. You're up there to do some networking shit. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Oh my. Aren't you the mayor? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name's Harriet, and this is my first... Oh, my salon. I help people wear their inner beauty on the outside. If you want a makeover, sit down in that chair in front of my machine. Alright. What can I do for you today, sugar? Perhaps a new hairstyle or some special makeup? Hairstyle? I'm going to update the look. Leave it to me. My hairstyle and package got 3,000! Jeez. Alright. Cut color style. What, um, more casual. Hang on, I'll swap to this layout so you can... There we go. Top and salon, I mean, okay. I see, pretty casual then. Casual mayor, I love it, sounds approachable. There are different kinds of casual day. Is there ideal loose and wavy or more on the stylish side? What, what does that mean? Stylish, I guess? I see, something stylish, huh? Let me ask you one last thing. Is the reason you want to be stylish because you want to be a fashion leader everyone looks up to? Or you're the opposite? It is a prickly don't get close to me aura more your deal? Absolutely. So you're looking for a style that sets you apart from the crowd. Okay, I can totally picture the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, you need to pick out a hair color. Natural, please. I, I don't. <laughs> Natural hair color runs the grunt from gamut. Uh, runs the gamut from. I want is as dark as my soul. I feel good about it. Let's start styling. All right. <laughs> that sound effect. It's like fucking. What is. What is this? I hope. Uh, yep, you look both fabulous and totally different. Oh. I need to return anything I was holding on for you. There you go. Hold on. I look like a British fuckboy. Jeez. Well, now I'm a Korok fuckboy. Thanks for stopping by, sugar. I mean, cool. I guess, I guess this is my look, huh? It's alright, I can undo this just by not playing the game for like four days or something, and then my hair just goes back. But for now, this is reality. Ha, ah, so what's up? Let's chat. What, what do you think? Don't I look particularly sharp today? I think iconic clothes like this are perfect for a dandy looking gentleman like myself. Gaha.
I wonder if the clothes had any impact on just the hairstyle that was picked. Yeah, I need to start getting rid of some of this. Like, my storage is approaching maximum. But I guess if I'm not gonna play too much more of this, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. I mean, I did ask for a haircut that leaves me, that tells people, hey, leave me alone. So. It's almost like this mask was very preemptive, like I figured someone's gonna fuck up my hair today, so I'm gonna wear a mask. The funny thing is I do have a paper bag, I think, somewhere. Oh wait, no, that was in New Horizons, I don't have it in this. But there is a paper bag outfit. Ah. Next best thing. Are you kidding me? Okay, dude, this is the third time you've had fleas. Stop, 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 stop. Absolutely not. You're 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 quarantined again. Nothing. Sir, you have brought the plague to this town three times now. You are quarantined until further notice. Huh? What, what's up? You found some fleas on me. It's a scam! Well, now I know why I've been crazy itchy. Thanks, Will. Yeah. Quarantine area. Do not approach. During lockdown, did I cut my own hair? During lockdown, your brother's broke and it took forever to get a new one. I didn't cut my hair at all during lockdown. Like, it just... grew out. It was approaching, like... South American drug... drug dealer... style. Like, what you would see on Narcos. <laughs> That's the level it was approaching. Or maybe just, like, you know, revolutionary from, from the 70s. That is now immortalized in a, on a t-shirt. That represents the exact opposite of what they were going for originally. That's what my hair becomes when I when I get uh very long hair. It's just I don't look Central American, but if I let my hair grow out, then yeah. At least I have that going for me. It's like, oh yeah, no, that checks out. Dude's definitely from that area of the world. Sorry, at least I was kind enough this time to quarantine him with a view, you know? He has a view. But he, he, he just constantly bring fleas here, like why? I've had nothing but trouble with Colton.
Well, no, short hair's definitely the way to go. When you have longer hair, it's just... You have to mess around so much. What's up? I've been thinking about this for a little while now. I think I might have overstayed my welcome here. I'll be leaving with the six and eight months. After that, I'm gone. Okay. Yeah, I might be jumping the gun, but thanks for everything you've ever done for me. I hope you'll be friends with me for a little while longer. Okay. I'm not saying no to any of them, it's just like, yeah, let's just experience more villages, I guess. I might be leaving this town soon as well. It's no coincidence that, like, I busted someone for bringing the plague into the town and he's like, oh no. This town is a hot mess. We've had the fleas three times. I need to move somewhere. Where there aren't dirty horses that try to scam people. The other thing that my hair happens to get is like, so it's straight, but then when it gets long, it starts getting curly for some reason. I don't know how the fuck that works. But if anyone tries to cut my hair, the machine struggles with it. It's just, it's thick. Like I said, like, just knockers. <laughs> it fits. What kind of hairdresser doesn't... Maybe... I don't know. Is there a hairdresser that you go there, you sit in a chair, and then they do whatever the fuck they want? Within reason? Is that a thing? See, they just... they just ask... well, okay, maybe where I've been, they just ask you, Hey, what do you want, exactly? Guess if you trust them. Well, this was the first time meeting this hairdresser, so... The only thing I'm missing is the gold chain, honestly. That's all I'm missing, the gold chain. Hey, man. How's it going? You up to, to anything tonight, yeah? Listen, there's a club downtown, yeah? You tell them when you get to the door. Dave sent you, yeah? Dave's list. It's not too far away from the truth of the clothing. I mean, maybe not the basketball jersey, but the haircut for sure. Hey, blathers. I got something new to donate.
I hate centipedes, you know. I'm about to donate a centipede, but they are freaky things. It's all the legs, that's what does it. Okay, cool. Lots of legs, yes. Ooh. I want the fishing rod. Take it. I wish this was a thing in New Horizons, just the milestone tools making a bit more of an impact. Instead of being something that, oh, they just break anyway. Like, I like that these are just something you carry around and they sparkle and they're nice. It's just... I get it, they want a durability in the game, but I feel like once you get up to the gold tools, it's just kind of a moot point. I'm not a fan of snakes, they don't have legs. I read that as, like, you're not a fan of snakes because they don't have legs, but it's two separate sentences. It's like, not a fan of snakes either. They have no legs. <laughs> I just... I made the sentence not representative of what it was. Yeah, fuck those legless bastards. Slithering around on their bellies and shit. What is that? Oh, high and mighty. Snakes aren't common. So, I can't really... I can't really say much about them. I've come across two in my entire life. Whereas in centipedes, yeah, they're everywhere. And sometimes they sneak in inside the house and that, that just sucks when you, you just come across one. There's nothing... There's nothing worse than... A fucking house centipede. Just a surprise house centipede. Do you scream? <laughs> I just immediately go for the spray. Nothing about putting the putting them back outside. Listen, I get it. I get why. But it's just not- it's not my way of doing things, because that means they can come back inside. So, there you go. Now I have a big dining area. Coincidentally, two of the same table. This. Now, kitchen shower combination with an art display. And now I'm about to make a study slash laundry area. Because, you know, like, you, you work and then you do laundry because you work from home. So you get the time to do that. The hell is this thing doing? I mean, this is 
is gonna make an easy thumbnail. <laughs> Do I have a laundry room? Sort of. <laughs> Not really. I have a spot for the washing machine. That's in a room. In a corner. People are leaving my town because of the plague this horse is bringing. Alright, it's time for business. Now that I have a business haircut. I just remembered, the townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony. Oh. Yeah, sure. And then I have to walk back here, because... It's just inconvenience. Um, hello everyone, welcome to the grand completion for ISS Vital Museum Renovation Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I am Isabella and I'll be your host today. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's just jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own Mayo. Take it away, Mayo Will. Well said, Mayor, you have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody please locate the item we passed out earlier and get ready. See, you don't get to see what I picked. Now you just have to leave it up to interpretation. To celebrate the completion of this public works project, and all the hard work made possible... Ready? You won't know what I picked. That concludes the ceremony. Thanks for all your hard work, everyone. Something, something. I'm not even reading it properly. I'm paraphrasing. Isabel, can we now get to business? Uh, public work project. Start a new project. I think these aren't actual police stations, but we'll see. Cafe. Reset center. Dream suite. Bridge. Suspension. campsite. The campsite would let other people come to the town. I probably should have gone for that first. Doesn't matter. The cafe. You won't be able to demolish the cafe project until it's finished. Okay. Hey, let's go find a place to build. Oh, I get to pick where it goes. It's not tied to the museum in this one. You know what well, would be a great place for a cafe? Like, yeah. Yeah? Too close to the river. <laughs> I just wanted to put it right next to my house. But in all honesty, I shouldn't meme about this and just put this, put it somewhere 
Like, at least where it looks good. The problem is there's all these trees in the way. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't want it too far away from where I live. You know what? Good idea. Good idea over here. Put it over here, build a bridge, and then it's right behind my house. It is- it is here. This is the location. Too close to the train tracks! Oh no, you need a lot of space for this shit. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know then. The problem is we have all these trees in the way. Well, this might be a no-go because... <laughs> I don't really have a large plot of land that isn't hindered by trees. I mean, I guess here is not bad. Let's see what they say about here. Too close to the central tree thing. I don't think I'm gonna get to build this. This is probably the only feasible location. Yeah, okay. Sure. I, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Whoever... Whoever... ...lives here locked out. This Vesta. Vesta's locked out. Look at this. Coffee place. Like, the value on Vesta's house has gone up. And static. Okay. Well, I was close to finishing the home loan payment, so I'll probably do that first. But at least that's in motion now. Amazing how quickly time flies in this game. It's already almost been an hour. So exactly why this game was just, oh man, during COVID. definitely helped a lot.
Damn it. Someone's sad. Who's sad? Static is sad. Why are you sad, Static? I okay. said, it's been a while since I've seen you. You haven't been hiding from me. Oh. Guilt trip. Mosquitoes out, I can see it. Go away. Oh boy. I love the part where they just target me, like in real life here. Hey, Lolo, how's it going, man? How's things? Just a pitfall suit. Yeah! Uh -huh. Things are alright in my soul. Yeah, I'm doing alright, man. Just kicking back. Thought I finished the Yoshi game, but I haven't. I tried. The boss is done, but there's post game content, so I gotta do one more. I make it sound like uh, it's a bad thing. It's not. It's just I, I, I want the I want other stuff. Time is is limited. You gonna be uh, up for much longer? Yeah. What are you doing here, Pete? The evening shift is always the hardest. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I can't make out the address in this letter because the handwriting is so sloppy. Not that I'm surprised. Most of the town's residents don't even have opposable thumbs. I think my greeting is severely lacking in sparkle. Can you give me a peppier one, Will? Sure. Tell me what I should say. <laughs> I'm making her cute. <laughs> sure. I love it. it. Feels like a totally new. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Have fun being goofy. You're in it till in it tonight. All right. Well, I was only gonna do the daily stuff in this. So if you're down to play in like 20 to 30 minutes. Something along those lines. Alright, cool. That'll let me finish my tea. They hit me up yesterday, but belt bed felt good. No, I can appreciate that. Yesterday, I, I made like a big effort to finish the Yoshi game, so I was like determined to get far in it. Like, 
Tuesday is usually my my day off streaming, but I, I figured, nah, I want to. I want to get this close to being done. I'm down to one at a time now. Imagine not being able to auto stack. All right, let's sell. That dog's been walking around town, <laughs> even though it doesn't live here anymore. Probably not a lot of money in this one. Oh, not bad, actually. I just realized there was a machine in there where I could probably interact with it instead of going to the post office, but it's fine. Uh, repaid loan? Getting there. 98,000. You went to KFC earlier, okay. This is either a story or just, you're just telling me this like, oh no, it's time to make Will hungry. Like, yeah, pop that thought in his head right now. Do we have KFC there? Of course we do. It's like one of the big ones we do. McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell now, Starbucks, um, Domino's. Just checking. I mean, look, I know to... To most Americans, it feels like Australia is like on a whole other planet slash non-existent. But we have KFC at the very least. You got a bucket of chicken, you ordered mashed potatoes and gravy. Wanted to make sure they got it, so we re you reminded them, but they... Took you as ordering more. So, wait. You ended up with five orders of mashed potatoes. Oh, man. Do we have B dubs? B dubs? I feel like B dubs has been explained to me once before. But no. Buffalo and Wild Wings. No, I wish we did. The closest we have is, like, Wing Street. That's part of Pizza Hut. Not as good, I would imagine. No, yeah. I figured. B-dubs is dangerous. Yeah. See, I'm convinced if I ever go to America, like, I'll have to go on a massive diet beforehand. Just get to the point where I'm, like, just borderline functional. And then just go to town on food the moment I get there. 
And then I'll just be back to normal when I get back. That should be healthy, right? Tuesday is with bone, Thursday is boneless. Alright. Which would you go though? Like, bone or boneless? I mean, the boneless is, is convenient. I, I will get that. But there's something about just bone that gives it flavor. I don't know why. If there's a reason you use bone in stock, that's, that's all I'm gonna say is like, bones are used to make other flavor profiles. You know? And based on that, it's just all this extra flavor you're losing. For the sake of convenience. If you're alone, bone. If you're eating there around people, boneless. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm all about the bone. I don't care how much of, like, a, a caveman I look like. I will strip those bones clean, son. <laughs> like, the cleanest bone, they sparkle. Don't waste anything on that. the way to go, honestly. Bones and fish can fuck off. Yeah, that's part of the reason that I... I don't like fish as much. I mean, look. Good fish can be very, very... comparable to good chicken. Fish done right... Yeah. It can be quite amazing, but it's far and apart. It's... Outside of, like, burning chicken or not cooking it enough, you can't go wrong with it. If you cook chicken to reasonable ability, it's just... it's always good. Whereas in mediocre fish, it's just... Eh, and then the whole bone thing. It's just not for me. Hey, your daughter's weird, she doesn't like seasoning on her wings. But, is there a foundation to it? Like, the wings would have, like, salt and pepper, right? Or, like, um, some sort of crumbed coating? I don't know. Because I can understand that. Sometimes, you don't want a saucy wing. You want something that's more of a dry rub. So, I don't know. I have no idea what those wings are like. I have no frame of reference for it. <sighs> I just... I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait till the weekend, then I'll consider getting chicken. Wait, it reminds me of your roommate who hates sauce with fries, only eats the fries plain. My brother doesn't like sauce. Or didn't. I mean, he, I think he's more open to it these days. Finally, I found him, bro. Yes! I made a time capsule, the contents of which... Most likely really boring. Hey, since I have your attention, could you bury it for me? Sure. Nice. Here's the capsule. Alright, I need... Now, I feel like with this, the, on the only way I'm going to remember it is, like, just put it directly in front of the fountain. 
I'll probably forget. Who am I kidding? But at least it's like, it's kind of obvious. I mean, so fries, for example, if I'm going to McDonald's and I'm just having a meal that just comes with fries, um, I can't be bothered, like, getting packets of, like, ketchup or tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it, right? But if I'm getting it with, with, like, nuggets, you damn well better be sure that I'm dipping those fries in the sauce that I get. If I have KFC, fries go in the gravy. You know? Don't know what it is, but McDonald's sauces go hard like the sweet and sour just hits. Yeah. McDonald's Australia has some new sauces that they're, they're so damn good. They have this, um, which is, it, I think it's funny because it sounds like something that would exist in America, but it's uh, Outback Barbecue Sauce. It is pretty damn legit. And then they have a wasabi mayo now too, so equally good. What makes it different to a regular barbecue sauce? So, the regular barbecue sauce is... is like just supermarket barbecue sauce. It's just sweet and... It doesn't really have any spice to it or a smoky flavor. Whereas in this, this has like a little bit of a spice kick to it and it definitely has that smoky profile. You know? It's more what you should expect from a barbecue sauce as opposed to... Practically 80% of the barbecue brands here. It's just, they're just glorified tomato sauce. They don't have any flavor profile. I guess there's no more fruit to get. This one. I, al I almost feel tempted the next time I get a McChicken. Which is good in Australia, by the way. It's just a giant McNugget, just so you know. It's not the same as the McChicken in America. But I feel like getting it without mayo next time. And then just getting, like, four, four packets of that barbecue sauce. And then just layering that on the burger instead. I'm calling it a burger, I don't care. It's a burger. I refuse to call it a sandwich. A good barbecue sauce has a balance of sweet, spicy, and smoky. Yep, and that's why the barbecue sauce is legit. The one that they've added. To the point where I kind of want just a bottle of it, you know? One thing I did get recently, um, there's a fried chicken place that does some pretty, um, Pretty good seasoning for their spicy chicken. I don't know what it is, but, you know, they get their chicken and then they just add some, some sort of condiment on top of it, like a salt. But they're now selling that salt separately, and I've had that shit on fries lately. Oh, man, it is good.
No, don't sell the silver stuff. Oh my god, no. I can sell this, though. I don't need that. I don't need the regular rod. It's probably for the best. Sure. Yeah, now I got just silver. The plainer, the better when it comes to wings. But when you say plain, I can't imagine it would be unmarinated chicken. Like, at the end of the day, the chicken has some sort of flavor profile. It's not like they got chicken straight from the butcher and just cooked it without putting any salt or garlic or some sort of dry rub or a coating. Like, it's got to be marinated in something, right? Like, I refuse to believe that plain means plain. Like, you're practically talking about boiled chicken, almost. Or brine. At the very least, salt and or pepper. Or like some mixed herbs or something, I don't know. Like, I don't believe plain means plain. You buy frozen wings from the air fryer and then she eats them right there. Okay, so that... They, they still have a flavor profile, like there would be salt, pepper, some sort of dry rub. Some... The, it's not just plain chicken. It's plain in the context of, you know, adding sauces and all this other stuff on top of it. Which I can- I can understand. Like, I- I like- sometimes I want sauces on my wings. Sometimes I- it's simple. Like, just... Garlic is enough for me. Places do tend to marinate things first, but you can't help that. If plainer, then that was an option, you go for it. So, I guess what I'm, I'm asking is, like, just wings, no salt, just cooking the chicken without anything. I don't know. I feel like you have to do something to the chicken. Try putting garlic on, she wouldn't eat it. Interesting. You know, the funny thing is, the wings already probably have garlic on it, like, garlic powder. Or pepper, like, it's gotta be there. To be fair, you're weirdly picky when you're younger as well, okay. I... I honestly wasn't that fussy. As far as fussy kids go, I, I was okay. I mean, I had things that I didn't like, sure, but at the end of the day, when push came to shove, I still ate it, with the exception of eggplant. But, yeah, man, I'm, I always want to try different things. Like, I got into getting good good Asian style food and all that sort of stuff pretty early. Like stir fries, noodles, noodle soups. And then, you know, my friends from the Middle East and also to some extent Eastern Europe like did kebabs and stuff. So instead of getting stuff like cheeseburgers or 
um, like McDonald's or KFC, you know, the typical safe stuff. I'd, I'd try some of that stuff. I want to make a bit more of a dent in the the home loan before I move on. Hey, sir, thanks for the 38 months, man. How's it going? To no surprise, we were talking about chicken. Wait. You can't stand bananas and mushrooms as a Twitch yet. Mushrooms I can understand. That one's pretty common. Mushrooms is, yeah, very common. Bananas, that's a bit more of an interesting one. Is it just the texture, the flavor? I mean, I like banana bread and banana muffins. They're pretty good. I'd be shocked. If I wasn't talking about chicken. Well, Lelo, Lelo brought it up. Because he had KFC, and then we just started talking about wings. And people's preferences. Just like, if you could go boneless or go bone, which would you get? Texture, flavor, and smell. Oh, wow, the whole thing, huh? Boneless, really? Okay. I mean, don't get, like, boneless is convenient for sure, but like I was saying is, I think bone is the way to go just because when it comes to meat, whenever you cook with meat or you know, people cook with meat, they can use the bones as a base to make something with a lot of flavor. So broths in particular, like chicken soup, for example, Right? So to me, if you go boneless, a bit of that flavor profile is gone. You're just, you're just missing out. I understand that it's less convenient and it can get messy and you have to put away the bones, but I think it, it just gives it a bit more depth. And it's part of the experience. But I truly believe that the bones give it more flavor. I have to go dispose of this garbage. Pumpkin bread is greater than banana bread. Haven't had pumpkin bread, can't comment on it. Seth says pumpkin is nasty. <laughs> it's it's alright. And pumpkin soup is pretty good. I kind of like a pumpkin soup. Have some some bread with it. And to each their own. The only thing I the only thing I won't eat is eggplant. That's pretty much it. Pumpkin soup, yeah, that's a thing. It's pretty damn good. It's like a... Kind of a sweet and savory profile. And then you just have bread with it as well. Pumpkin spice latte, yeah. Americans and their terminology. No, see, what they mean by pumpkin spice is full. Full. Flavors are full. Which... It's got nothing to do with pumpkin, it's just like, oh. It's just because pumpkin reminds us of full, that's why we called it a pumpkin spice. Oh, 
pumpkin isn't used that much in Scotland. Ah, okay. When am I going to the mall? <laughs> I mean, it's a weekday, so not on a weekday. Weekend. When I don't have work. When my day is free. Father's Day is Sunday. No, it's not. It's two weeks away. Is that, is, is that what I think it is, Lelo? <laughs> oh, man. That, that's, that's a deep reference, though. It says 9th of the 3rd. Right, and this weekend... This weekend is... <sighs> Wait, the third, ninth of the third. Hold on. Have I got this wrong? Oh, fuck. It's the first Sunday in September. God damn it. It is this weekend. Well, that's fine. I go on the Saturday. There's no problem. I was, pl I was planning on going on the Saturday anyway, so it works out. No, I just kind of got disconnected because it's still, or like, it's still August, right? So in my mind, I'm like, okay, this weekend is still going to be August. But it's not, it's September. That's why. Father's Day is different depending on the country you live in. There is no universal Father's Day because it's a greeting card holiday. Just so you know. Same with Mother's Day. There is no international standard, so... If I'm talking about Father's Day, it's because it is Father's Day in Australia. So that's going to be my Saturday, then. Damn it, I need to talk to my brothers, then. Like, what, what are we even doing? What am I doing Sunday? That's the thing I don't know. No one said anything. I'll have, to, I'll have to see what's up. <laughs> One of my brothers was planning on playing Starfield this weekend. That's probably not going to happen for him. I have a week off to play Baldur's Gate. Shit, speaking of Baldur's Gate... Okay. Ten more minutes of this, then that'll be a nice rounded off VOD. I'm supposed to be playing that with Lolo soon, so... Just eat- wait, what have I got in there? What the hell is that thing? Lanternfly, apparently. I should probably, like, just do that now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. 
Apparently you're supposed to kill those, why? Was I the one telling you that Starfields are supposedly going to be the least buggy Bethesda game ever? Yeah, according to the leaks, I'm not the- I don't have this opinion. But just based on the leaks and some journalists are saying that already, it's just like, I don't trust it. But that's- that's word on the street right now. But see, when you say the least buggy Bethesda game, that's not exactly a very high bar, you know? You know what I mean? It's like... A game could have zero bugs and still be terrible. No, but what I mean is like... When you're saying the least buggy Bethesda game... It'd be like... Ugh, I don't know how to say it. I can't think of an analogy right now, but... It's just... Bethesda games are buggy, so even if something is like to their highest standard and best quality, where you know it's the least buggy thing, there's probably still gonna be bugs. <laughs> Let's be real. They didn't say no bugs, it's like wow this game is not buggy, they just said it's the least buggy. Which can- it's like when you compare it to say 76, You think you know what I'm saying. It'd be like the least hot sun to live on. Exactly. Just basically that. It's like you're still gonna get- still gonna get burnt or die. Or like if I was to- if I was to step on a bear trap, it would be like the least painful bear trap. I still stepped on a fucking bear trap. There you go. Uh, there's, there's the analogy. <laughs> also, wait, those flies are invasive and kill trees. Oh, damn. It doesn't matter, you've made up your mind that the game is going to be trash anyways. I mean, that's a good mindset to have. It's... You'd rather be pleasantly surprised than just disappointed. I mean, we talked about this last time when we were playing Baldur's Gate. It's just... The landscape of games made by major publishers is just really not great right now. And there's just certain rules you should follow when it comes to the buying games these days. One of them I, that I think is perfect is no gameplay, no buy. When they announce a game, if they don't show gameplay, do not buy that game. And Starfield fell into that category. Because we only got gameplay of that game this year. Months away from its release, so... We'll see. This just happened way too many times. It's just... I've, I've become too cynical when it comes to games, and I feel like the best way to avoid it is just not to get excited about those kind of games, as, as bad as that might sound. If a game is shown off and, you know, it has gameplay in the trailer, and it looks well thought out and very reasonable, and they're not doing things like doing five or six different editions of the game in collector's edition, then, hey, I'll get excited about that game. Hey, we're not going to show you any footage of this game, but did you know you could pre-order the Super Duper Digital Deluxe Collector's Edition that doesn't come with a physical copy of the game, but then you get this cool-ass helmet? 
That'll be $600, please. It's not like a premonition, it's just based off their track record. Yeah, no, oh, I get it. No, I, I kind of agree, man. Like, it's one of these things where I have to see it to believe it if the game is gonna be not a mess on release. I think last year I changed my habits in terms of buying games by following that rule no gameplay no buy and now I am extending the rule even further where any game that they refer to the game as a live service or a product instead of a game do not touch that just stay away from that shit I got burnt on Overwatch and I got burnt on Diablo 4 Free to play is another term you should avoid. Avoid. Or at least I'm avoiding them. Look, if you want to play those games and you have fun with them, don't don't let what I'm saying ruin that fun for you. If you had fun, that's that's all that's important. But me personally, I've been burnt by by those games, those kind of games, and I think I'm done with them. Much like how first-person shooters burnt me when they started going down the, that path, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, I stopped buying those games altogether. And you know what? I'm much happier for it. I think it, it's time to do the same with uh, just anything that kind of has that stuff, you know? it doesn't matter how little it might be, like, it's just, it's a slippery slope. Eventually they end up in the egregious areas and they just sacrifice creativity and quality for the sake of just making sure they make more money. And what made me realize that was just where Diablo 4 ended and the cancellation of Overwatch's 2, like, PvE content, which was supposed to be really good. I was kind of excited for that. So, yeah, uh, I am, I'm done with that stuff. Wait, oh, they f even fucked shit up beyond the game itself for 76. Yeah, on a weekly basis, there was some drama around that game. There was the canvas bag thing, that was definitely one. There was the black cola. Yeah, where, like, they made it look like a special bottle and then it was just a plastic cast. There was people's personal information getting leaked through the forums. So people that were raising a support ticket had their personal data leaked because of some stupid bug. What else? There was the, uh, the very first DLC for that game. Or was it DLC? It was like some microtransaction where it was going to add more storage space. And then when people bought the item and started putting items into the storage space, it deleted them. By, and then it was just not recoverable. I think someone found a dev room that was accessible in the game, so... There was also that. There was a time people, um simultaneously launched the nukes in the game and then crashed the servers. So, you know. If the game... If Starfield ends up being not buggy and fun and good, I'm very happy for those of you that uh, took the, the leap of faith on them. Especially after their recent track record. But me, I'm just, I'm just gonna hang out here until it's very apparent that, okay, this one's actually a good game, and they haven't done anything dumb with it.
<laughs> the Fleet... The Fleet Wood Mac song. Tell me lies. Just whenever Todd Howard speaks. You gotta give it to him, the dude's a good salesman. How many- how many of us have purchased Skyrim more than once? I tell ya, he's done his job. I have purchased it three times. Once for the PC. Once for the PlayStation, because it had the VR mode. And once for the Switch, because I wanted to see why- I heard that it was a buggy mess, and I'm keeping it in the back of my pocket for, like, stream content. <laughs> so, the third time was definitely because- it's not that I wanted it, it's like, okay, I've heard this is a mess. I'm gonna keep this for content. Same with the, the Grand Theft Auto trilogy. Um, the definitive editions. I have a physical copy of that game. So when I play it, I'm gonna disconnect the PS5 from the internet. And then just play the game unpatched, and it's gonna be glorious. <laughs> just play it in its most raw form where it was just a glitchy, hot mess. You only bought it once, you think you pre-ordered it. But that was in a time where things weren't as they are now. You know, that's fine. You got it in a humble bundle once, played it for 20 hours, disliked it. A lot as an RPG game. That's fair enough. Some people that are old school fans of, like, that series, they say that, um, like, Oblivion is a lot better. And that Skyrim kind of panders a little bit. And that's why it got a, a bit more popular. I haven't played Oblivion, so I don't know. I, pl I played the game for about a hundred hours. I did so many side quests. I just started playing the game, went off on my own path, and just did a bunch of side quests for about a hundred hours. And then when I went back to do the main quest, the main the character that I needed to talk to to progress in the main quest glitched. It spawned underneath the earth, and I could only see the in the well, basically the top of the character. I couldn't interact with the character; it was just completely blocked. I tried loading the save again; didn't work. I tried I tried looking for console commands to try and help; nothing. And that's where my playthrough of that game ended. Just hit a hard brick wall. I'm aware I broke the game, but this was in a time period where I wasn't streaming, and I just never I never broke games. Really, I never did. Like, it's only when I started streaming that this whole thing of me just breaking practically every game I play started. And it's not because games have been getting worse, because I've done this to older games that I've played before and were perfectly fine. So like, take Breath of the Wild. The first time I played that game off stream, perfectly fine. Not a single thing I experienced in that game was even remotely broken. It was- it was great. I play it on stream... ...this year... ...and it's the most broken experience, like as if it was a Bethesda game. That's- that's how bad it got. Like... I- I think easily 13 or so different- different glitches. One where... The game was definitely shitting itself, like... I couldn't take a step without a new Blood Moon happening, that- that was the peak of it. And then my dragons became permanently glitched, where... For several days I couldn't interact with the dragons. The best was the leaning guy, oh my god, the leaning guy. Certain NPCs... I don't know- I don't know how, but... Certain NPCs were tilted at a 45 degree angle, so they were running, kinda... I don't know how to explain it, but just imagine someone leaning on a 45 degree angle, and then they walk on a 45 degree angle. We call them tilt, yes. None of that stuff ever happened to me before I started streaming. Did 
did you see the Fable trailer? That'll be... That's one you're interested in, see if they recover that series. I didn't get to play much Fable. I had a friend that was really into that, but it's just not a series I got to experience. But I know a lot of people are excited for it. It sounds like a shit game. It's not shit at all, like... The f The first time I played it, completely error-free, not a single bug. Not one. And some of the stuff I ran into, I, I haven't seen before. I did- I did something that the game didn't like, I'm just not sure what. They just updated the bugs into the game later. They didn't. I was running the same version. Like, the game hasn't been updated since the last DLC dropped. Like, I had the same experience that I did the first time from a game data point of view. Listen, the bugs weren't... Aside from the Blood Moon one... Oh wow, Napoleon Fish. Aside from the Blood Moon one, where yes, that one was detrimental, the other ones were just funny. They weren't something like to the level of cyberpunk where I quite literally couldn't play the game. Uh, believe me, it's it's not shit. <laughs> there are games that have done far worse than what the bugs that I en encountered in Breath of the Wild were. I'm not sure I've donated this. Fable brought a whimsical feel to fantasy RPGs that you kind of miss. Yeah, be careful- be careful with that nostalgia. Nostalgia is like... It's a very human thing, but right now this is the- this is the thing that a lot of these major game companies are doing, is like, they're selling nostalgia. And relying on that. Heavily. In some ways, they- they- they work. In others, it's just like... The game does not end up being any rem anywhere near what it should be. Apparently I have donated the Napoleon fish. Like in the case of Diablo 4. Made it really seem like, oh, we're going back to D2 days and then it was far from the case. You won't be pre-ordering anything, just curious what happens. Yeah, I mean, follow it, and hopefully it ends up being good. You never know, sometimes, despite, despite some of these games coming out from a company that hasn't had a good track record, you could be pleasantly surprised. Like, the treatment of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, for example, it's like, it's under the wing of Activision, but it still was a very good trilogy. The Diablo, the Diablo 2 remaster, very good, despite it being from Blizzard Activision. It, there's still possibility for the game to be good. Just definitely side on the air of caution. I don't think I said that sentence right. Okay, anyway. Side on the air of caution? That's not a sentence. Brain broke for a minute there. But you got what I'm saying. 
Do you have anything else here? I just want to see. I like this music. Alright, nothing else. I just thought maybe she had stuff for sale, but nothing for sale. Alright. Just, I think by the next session I should be able to pay off this uh, home loan. Okay. Well, this is, I think, a nice little session for today. It's enough to not have my villagers complain that... Oh, hey. We used to have a mayor like you. What happened? Or whatever passive-aggressive comment they might come up with. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying the playthrough. And, yeah, if you want to support the channel over here, just be sure to click buttons and stuff. As the algorithm likes that thing. And it does help the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that have been doing that. I appreciate it. Uh, also, probably by now, YouTube has popped up to other of my videos, so if you want to... Watch me play anything else. Just clickety-click-click. Alright. Till next time. Bye, YouTube.